In this video lecture, we're going to cover how to edit within the piano roll window. Now, again, MIDI is one of the greatest tools we can use to give us some flexibility in how we create. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, in the le previous lecture, we had a drum track that was created. Very simple, basic drum, drum pattern. Now, when we pull up the editor, go over here to the scissors, click on the button here. You're automatically going to be in the piano roll section here. Now, a hot key to pull up the piano section is to put the piano roll section, excuse me, is to push the letter P. Pushing the letter P on your keyboard brings that, that piano roll editor right up or, you know, pulls, pulls it down here. Now, let's talk about with so what's, what's going on within this editor. If you look at the look at this, this, this space right here. This is called a grid. Now, the grid is divided up into different pockets of time so you can maneuver and manipulate where your MIDI notes are placed on the grid. So let's talk about editing. All right. Now, first off, we have a basic drum pattern here. The first thing you want to make sure that you you have selected is this button right here. OK, this always needs to be in the blue. Why? This is going to lock in the playhead and it's going to follow it as it goes along the track here. OK, very important as you're creating because it lets you know where you're at. Another thing I want you to pay attention to is your options over here to vertically zoom. OK. Or. The horizontally zoom. And depending on how intricate your pattern or melody is, this is going to be a very good tool for you. OK. Now, also, if you're using the Apple mouse, you can swipe left or right on the mouse and it can take you left or right. And it's the same thing with a trackpad, but you had to use two fingers. OK. So just wanted to cover that before we actually get into the editing aspect of things here. Now, usually the first thing that needs to be done whenever you're working with MIDI is you need to quantize the notes. The process of quantization is basically snapping notes in their right place if they're played off, if the timing is off on a note. So I'm going to purposely move this out of place here. And move this out of place and let's just listen to it. Now, that could be a good sounding beat if I did it on purpose. But if you didn't do it on purpose, you need to fix it. So what you need to do is highlight all these notes. All you're doing is clicking, dragging. All right. And the more complicated the pattern, the lower the, uh, the, 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 the bigger the note, the number is going to be here. The, the more basic the pattern, the lower the notes, the notes, the notes, the notes going to be Start off with one over eight. It didn't quite get this note moved back in place where it's supposed to be. So let's try one over four. It was moved over too far. So let's say if it was moved like that, let me just zoom in a little bit here. It locks everything in grid. Okay, it locks it down. If you know anything about no length, this is why you have one over four. It's basically tell, telling you that this is going to lock everything in grid as as if it, all the notes are quarter notes. Vice versa, if they're eighth notes or one sixteenth notes or one thirty second notes, don't get too don't get too caught up on this. Just understand that the higher or the more complex your pattern or melody is, the higher you're going to need to go on the notes. And the, the more basic, the lower you're going to need to go on the quantization. And again, all you have to do is highlight everything. A quick way to do it is to push Command A after you click on the grid. It highlights everything. And then you come over here, select the proper value, say 1 over 16, and you can push the Q or it automatically will lock it in place. All right, so let's check it out. Now, 
one cool thing about MIDI, again, is it gives you very much so a lot of flexibility over how you can create your music. So if I don't want this particular note to be right here, I can move it over. So now let's check it out. Okay, I might say I want this note over here. You can also change the length of the note by coming to the very end of it. And as soon as you see this little sign that looks kind of like a little bracket, that is telling you that you can now change the length of the note. All right. Again, if you push enter, you can go to the, to the very beginning of, of the, your, your measure. And if you push space bar, you can push play. All right. The last thing I'm going to show you as far as editing is how to create notes, MIDI notes in the grid. OK. Or the, you can say the piano row. If you push down command, hold that down, you're going to see a pencil. Click anywhere on the grid. And now you have a new MIDI note. So I can even click here and I can say, hey, if I want, this is another cool trick. If you want a note to be as long as this note, all you have to do is click on it and then go to command to, to create the, the uh, pencil and click on the grid and you have a note that's just as long as the note you just clicked on. Same thing here, right here. If you want this note, the length of that note, just click on it. Then come somewhere else on the grid, hold down command. You still, you see the, the pencil and then click. And then you have a note that's just as long. Okay. So that in a nutshell is how to edit within the grid as it can get de detailed and more deeper and complex than this. But I wanted to hit the basics for you. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions or if anything went over your head. Thanks for watching. In the next section, we're going to cover your sounds. Okay. Different sounds that you can actually use within the Logic Pro 10 program. Okay. Thanks.